go in game two. That's strike one. Greg Harmon, our plate umpire today. It was almost as if it was noteworthy when he didn't throw a no-no. And he runs one over the inside corner. Troll, he just carved up Ryan Cermak. Yeah, and Cermak is an outstanding hitter. Not as effective. There's a liner that is going to be caught by Soberano. That's all the ups that young man can muster, but it was just enough to bring down the line drive hit by Caden Wallace. Ground ball softly hit. This might get up the middle. Backhanded by Soberano. His throw to first is going to be in time. Back-to-back -back strong plays by Soberano to take hits away from the Hogs and give Sean Sinisco a perfect first inning. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I'm excited to welcome you all back for another season of college baseball. Believe it or not, this is my fourth year covering it. For those of you that are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action, because this is going to be the best season yet of college baseball. All right, back to the highlights from the game. Team has a chance to make some noise this year. He'll be a part of it if they do. That's right down the shoot strike three call. A couple of times, Hagen Smith has gotten a punch out on a strikeout on a fastball. Again, Hagen Smith just pumping strikes and picking up backwards K's. Moore drives one to deep left field. Back to the bullpen, and he's on the board. First home run of the season for Robert Moore. A right-handed shot into the Hogs bullpen. And Arkansas has taken his first lead of the season. We talked about Robert Moore wanting to take that next step, batting right-handed. That's a good beginning, isn't it? It really is. Nice swing by Moore. Good pop, good balance. Again, choking up. And you can hit long balls choking up. <laughs> he, he thought he hit that one about 500 feet. It didn't get out by much, but he sure played it up well, didn't he? Or line drives and balls to the gap. Lanzilli socks one to left. That ball may go. It's off the top of the fence. Huggins couldn't get it. Lanzilli slams on the brakes, and he might be lucky to get back to second. It was the first baseman, McCaw, who was trying to get down to second, maybe to have a play on Lance Hill. Delighted. 2-1 pitch to Turner. Little chopper. Sinisco comes down up the hill to field it, and his throw to first is accurate. That'll end the inning. But the Razorbacks have taken the lead. A home run from Robert Moore. Left that pitch up. Shot out towards right. Slavens got caught between diving or playing it on a short hop, and that's a base hit. That was an awkward fall by Brady. He's going to run. Robert Moore had to leave his spot to go over and cover second base. And with Waltman putting the ball in play, he'll get an infield base hit. And by putting the runners in play, that kept that from being an easy double play, per se. Took advantage of Slavens with the misplay. There's a liner by Soberano in the center for a base hit. Guile around third. He will hold, and the throw is a one-hopper to the plate from Braden Webb, and the Redbirds have them loaded. And that pop up. It's down the line and right, and it'll be caught by Slavens. The throw home is way off the mark. Great job by Turner to go get it. In his season debut, ground ball up the middle. Battles will glide there, tries to get to second and does for the force on Soberano to end the inning. So the Redbirds loaded the bases and left them loaded. Battles wants to wear it. He also has a brother who's a pretty good baseball player as Battles will poke one to right for a base hit. His brother is a 2024 shortstop prospect. Three another count. And that did miss. Four pitch walk to Stovall on the Razorbacks. That's pretty much a shocker. Base hit left field. Battles around third. He'll score without a play. And the Razorbacks have taken a 2-0 lead. First hit, first RBI of the season. First of many, possibly, for Caden Wallace. Caden Wallace has had a great fall, a great early spring, and just kind of picked up where he left off right there. Nice job at ripping that one right through the hole. No chance to get battles. And again, Arkansas, this is the offense you thought that they would have, and 
they will have a really tremendous year. And again, I think the quality of at-bats, uh, Wallace laying off breaking balls down in the zone. Hitters count for Robert Moore. In the air to right, Sabotnik in the foul territory. He's going to make the catch. A couple of grabs this inning. I'm not sure if they were confident catches, but they count nonetheless. So it's a slow to threat last inning. Didn't give up a run. Here's McCaw, comebacker that hits Hagen Smith. Propels to Wallace, goes with a bare hand, throws to first. He got him. What a play. Off of the pitcher, Smith. A barehanded effort by Caden Wallace, and they get the ad at first base. That is. Uh, you know what? A great job by McCaw to hit the front part yep. of the base. Ground ball to battles. Can the Razorbacks get two? There's more. Quick turn back to first. Easy double play. That ball was to the right of battles, so not a true double play possibility. Back and forth as if to say, eh, I'd really like to have that one back, and then he does it again. Wave and a miss. Infield single, double play, strike out. Hagen Smith. Cruising through the top of the fourth inning. Big chopper to the right side. Soberano hoping to get the hop, and that is the one thing about playing in that shift. You get to the lip, you get that last big bounce when normally you might have that ball in your. It's in the dirt. Ground ball served to short. Nichols is there. He'll go the long way to first to throw out Peyton Stovall. And the Razorbacks strand two more runners in the fourth. And pitches to this point for Hagen Smith. That one is served to left. That's a base hit. So Nick Guile, a couple of singles so far. He had the first base hit for a number of years, dealing with older players. A roller to third. Wallace will toss to Moore. They get an out back to first. Another double play. This one goes around the horn. Wallace to Moore to Stovall. That one socked to left center field. Cermak turning and running. He's not going to get there. Looks up and hit the top of the fence, but it stayed in play. Caden Wallace just missed a home run. He's got himself a leadoff double. 3-0 the count. He's going to take, and that is ball four. Wallace thought about advancing when Waltman didn't catch it cleanly. Ball's driven to center. Cermak turning and running. He's not going to get there. It's up off the fence. This may score a pair. Wallace is home. Here comes Webb. Bad quad and all. He'll score without a play. On a two-run double from Robert Moore. And it's a 4-0 Razorback advantage. Here you go, Braden Webb. See if you can run all the way from first as I hit one to the fence, says Robert Moore. Moore knew he got it really well, but hit to the deepest part of the park, and not a bad job by Cermak getting that baseball in. And you're right, Braden Webb, he had to kind of test that quad a little bit. And Looked he, good, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. This frame for Arkansas. And that pitch is down and out. How about the 3-2 breaking ball to Slavens? Turner's one for two with a single. Skies one to center towards Cermak. He'll put it away to end the fifth inning. Get a Line shot off 100 miles off the bat. It's a base hit by Flores. There's just not a lot of protection on that shin. And anybody who's thrown BP to kids, Kansas City area players that are excited about a game at Kaufman later on this year. Guile sends one out to right center field. That ball's down. It's going to kick up off the fence. Webb's going to play it back in nicely. Flores goes to third and holds there on a double from Guile. And Guile is three for three. That's a wave and a miss. Nichols chased the elevated fastball and goes down on strikes. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Turner. That's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back K's by Adamiak to strand two runners. Yanked down the line and right into the corner. That is a fair ball. So Barano's going to have extra bases, I think. The throw comes in from Slavens. What about Soberano? That's four hits now so far in the two game ranges, that is to say. Base runners put pressure on the team. And speaking of base runners, that's a walk. So now McCaw comes up with runners on the corners and one out. Front door, breaking ball, strike three call. That pitch to that hitter in that spot is unhittable. How about that? Three pitches, all strikes, and a K for Toll. So Taylor and Toll, the TNT boys, work out of a mini threat in the top. Turns everything around. 
one swing. Ouch, that one got Lanzilli on the right hand. And again, this team so heavily left-handed, they do not need anything to happen to those righties. Again, the Hawks are trying to, oh, you don't want to get picked off, do you? And there was maybe some mini obstruction. Drake will go to second and hold there. He got tangled up with McCaw. Serves one down the line and left. Fair ball into the corner. That'll score a run. And Turner's got his first RBI as a Razorback, and he's made it a 5-0 Arkansas lead. That's a really great swing right there by Michael Turner. Again, he gets a pitch on the outer third of the plate, and it's really easy to try to pull that baseball and roll it to the ground ball to second base. Does not happen very often. Stovall. Sends one out to left, and a diving catch will be made by Huggins, the former second baseman, former shortstop, now left fielder. And a four-pitch walk. Just that one lined to right, and Slavens will play it on a bounce. Nichols will round third and score. And the Redbirds avoid the shutout. Yeah, the difference was just the catcher indifference where they let the runner at first base, Nichols, steals second. In the air to left field, and Borfitt will make the catch to end the game. And the Hogs win their first of the season, a 5-1 victory over Illinois State.